Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's stream. Um, I know I'm still being inconsistent, but I hope that those who come across the stream tonight or the video later will um, enjoy what they see. So, as the title suggests, today we are going to be opening this. Our box of Modern Horizons. The pre-release is this weekend and I picked up my box earlier today and I used all the willpower I had to not open it already. Um, as you can see I've got the two camera thing going on here. Oh, excuse me. Um, the setup is pretty pretty crazy. I've got the camera there. I've got this little like bendy arm attached to my monitor here, holding the camera up there, and my microphone over there. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited for this set. Um, there, I love playing Commander. I have tons of Commander decks. So many. Um, I'm sure there's people with more than me, but I think I'm at 24, 25, so, oh, excuse me. Uh, that's probably my knuckles. Um, I think 26, because today, my local shop had a pre-con copy of the Estra deck, the one that was all based around enchantments, and that is a color slice I was missing, so um, I'm excited to build that. But this set has so many things I'm excited for that just go in so many decks. I try not to shake the table too much because the monitor sitting on the desk with the bendy arm attached to the camera makes it very easy to shake. So. Let's go ahead and get this show on the road, shall we? We're going to crack this box open. poster of some sort. What else would they print? Let's see. Pictures on the inside of the box. I think we could pop this open somehow very carefully. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Very carefully. Maybe? We'll come back to that. I feel like there's something to be done in there. All right. Cardboard insert. Keep all the packs in place. Um, so there we go. There's our packs. Modern Horizons. All right. This set was very fun to see spoiled. Um, just so many fun things came out of it. Just fun cards after fun cards. I'm gonna try to make sure as I Mess with these open the cards that they're going to be easy for people to see. Oh, see, so check that out. They got these sweet art cards that are in here. Um, you could use, totally use them as a token or something like that. The art series, 24 to 54. That is super cool. Let's see, ooh, ooh, there we go. Sliver art. So there's one of those, I believe, in every pack, and then they have goblins. Well, they have tokens, so you have a chance of getting a... Um, every pack has a token, they're double-sided, but they also have a chance to be foil, and then they're single-sided. But that's super cool. So there's snow cover... Oh, well, there's our... Apparently this is rare, front to back. 
So we've got our snow covered basic land and a one of our hmm. Let's see, you know, let me try to zoom in the camera here real quick. Let's see if we can get the right one. I apologize if this freaks anything out. But it feels like I could be zooming this bad boy in a little bit. Alright. Alright, so that's the right one. So let's zoom in. So let's see, we're going to have to adjust a little bit. My second webcam isn't the best, but... Hmm. Well, I apologize if they're blurry. That's no good. Um, we're going to do the best we can. I apologize. So there's Snow Covered Island. We have the uh, Cycle Lands. Let's see. Can we make that better? Right there, I believe, is where we kind of want to be. Let's see if we're right here. I should have tested this a little bit better ahead of time, so I apologize. So that's pretty good. So we'll go something like that. So there's our cycle land, which is awesome. And we've got a wall of blossoms, hollow head sliver, birthing boughs, creates tokens. All right, all right. Interesting. All right, that's a pretty decent start. Cycle lands are going to be useful. Those are always going to be something that we can take advantage of. Um, let's go ahead and do a uncommon and common pile. That'll be okay. All right. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should open them backwards. Oh, see, there we go. Check that out. Isn't that pretty? Foil Goblin. That is very cool. So here's our, our art card. Excavating Anurid. Very cool. Snow Covered Forest. And our prismatic vista, starting with lands. I don't hate that. So this is basically a fetch land for basics. So not quite up there as uh, the normal fetch lands might be, but fetching lands is deck thinning and land, land and, sorry mana improvement. Totally worth it. So we've got another sliver. This one. Uh, oh, so it pings. All right. Interesting. Pinging slivers. That's useful. We got this card that is a little expensive, but in theory can just hose Tron, making them discard all their colorless cards. Will it actually see that happen? Who knows? But that's the speculation people are having. So... Some more slivers. Oh, Crows and Tusker. This guy is, he's been around for a minute, drawn by the incomparable Kev Walker. I actually don't know anything about him other than I love his art. His art is really cool. I've always been a, been a fan of his art. Another sliver. All right. I hope everyone had a good day. Um, I want to give, not really a shout out, but, um, I should go through some of the people that I subscribed to recently. I found a lot of great small ASMR channels recently that I've just absolutely enjoyed. They've just been wonderful. But uh, well, as I usually do, I want to say that I appreciate all the content creators out there doing the work that they do. Ooh, rhinos and illusions. Very cool. That is cool art. Ranger Captain of Eos. Very cool. So clever island. And a foil dead of winter.
Oh, sorry, it's hard to get this lined up right. All non-snow creatures get minus x minus x. That's that's fun. And there's our plague engineer, because that was a foil rare. So we have our regular rare as well. Very specific, but could be very fun. We got some abominable tree folk to go with the snow covered lands. Alright. That's fun. Foil Dead of Winter. I'm sure it's not the best rare in the world, but it's fun to get it. And the art's very cool. I like it. Alright. I really want, if I get nothing else, a Captain Sisse is what I'm really looking for. I'm sure she won't be too expensive, but you, know, you never know. Um, I really want her for my five color EDH deck. Alright, so there's our soldier token with a spider on the back. Very cool. Um, Wizards recently announced that they're going to in be improving their card stock quality here pretty soon, and I think that's fantastic. Alright, so there's our cool ninjutsu art. Which one is this one? Ninja of the New Moon. Very cool. Very cool. Snow Covered Swamp and another spirit. He used to be in some very shenanigans some combo decks. He was, uh, he's kind of fun. Face of Divinity. This is relevant because um, if it's not in there already, I picked up that Commander EDH deck, I mean the Commander deck based on enchantments today, and that could have a, a home for it. And some Fire Bolts for Regrowth is always a solid card. Mm, weather the storm with storm. So, all right. Oh, and there, that was a fun one. Uh, Umizawa's charm. Um, if you're familiar with Umizawa's jit, um, has different modes depending on the tokens you have on it. Definitely, uh, that card is definitely playable. I imagine we'll probably find a home for the charm as well because cards with different modes, they can find home somewhere. Definitely. So recently I've been playing a lot of Magic Online. Magic Arena has been very fun. I've been playing Four Color Dreadfort. It's a very fun deck. Um, slowly built up all the cards for it. Ooh, Foil Bird. That's fun. Ooh, what art is this? That is Lightning Skelemental. Very cool. Still covered island and crashing footfalls. What do we got here? Uh, oh, the suspend for one that creates two four four rhinos when it comes into play. had a better camera for the second one. I think both my cameras are actually the same. It's just having a hard time with the uh, um, text and stuff like that. Tribute Mage, uh, searching for artifacts. Very relevant. Tempered Sliver and a Sadistic Obsession. That's a fun card. Just a repeatable put counters onto things. Nice of the old Benelia. Pondering Mage. Very cool. Alright, so let's put these uncommons in their pile. I love opening packs of cards. The cardboard smell. The crinkle sm sound. Alright, there's our elemental token with a squirrel token on the back. Look at that guy, he means business. And I cannot just line things up right with my camera, can I? Having a hard time. That's some cool art. What is this one? This is Prismatic Vista. I think that's the one we opened. Very cool. And then we get Force of Despair. Ah. 
the one of the new force cycles. Destroy all creatures that enter the battlefield this turn. That's very good. That is definitely going to have a home somewhere. So we've got some exile things. That's pretty good. And the talismans. Kitty cats. Oh, excuse me. Oh, look at that. We've got a, one of the cards that requires snow mana to be paid to be cast with. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, let's get our piles. Mana rocks are always useful. These packs open very easy, but they also tear very easy too. Foil Spirit Token, very cool. Definitely a fan. What part we got here? We've got Echo of Eons. Very cool. I'm digging it. We've got a Foil Weather the Storm and Unselt Mariner. So we got a Foil Common. It's fun. We might have a home for that somewhere. And then the Unsettled Mariner. Uh, the card's really good. Actually, really good. I wonder where he will find a home. Goblin Matron, another Sliver, and a Rioter. Okay. Huh. This guy, I wonder if he will have a home in my Borbor Rigmos EDH deck. Um, he actually seems super relevant. Interesting. You know what I thought? Let's just turn on the autofocus for this camera. I wonder if it will do it for us. Uh, that is doing a terrible job of autofocusing, isn't it? We'll leave it, because that way when we hold the cards up, it'll be okay. All right. All right, so far so good. No big bombs yet, no mythics, but that's okay. We still have a lot of packs to go. There's our regular bird token. With an angel on the back. Ooh, that is... Uh, Yawgmoth's art card. Thran Physician. Very cool. Very, I keep saying very cool. I need a different word. Alright, so we've got our snow-covered plains and the halls of Heliod's Generosity. That card definitely seems fine. Is it money? Nah. At least I don't think so. But its effect is not to be ignored, that is for sure. Dismantling Blow is a strong, strong reprint. Reprint. Uh, I believe that was originally printed in one of the first Urza's blocks, if I remember right, when they first introduced Kicker. Um, it's very good. All right, Baron Moor, Cycling Lands. You're gonna, you're gonna focus for me, Land Camera. Oh well. Cycling lands, super useful. We like cycling lands, that's for sure. I hope everyone's having a great start to their summer. It's uh, been beautiful weather here, lots of rain. Our lakes are full and our rivers are full. So we got our elephant and our shapeshifter. So it's technically the shapeshifter is also an elephant. All right, so what we got here? Oh, this is the art for Endling. Pretty awesome. Still covered swamp. A foil munitions expert. And as we can see, the next card we see is awesome. So this one is 
You're not going to autofocus for me? I thought you were going to autofocus for me. There you go. All right, very sweet. And then the force of negation. The new version of force of will. Anything that resembles force of will cannot be ignored very much. Very useful. That is very awesome. That is a good one to open. I'm excited about that. Rebuild. Get rid of all those pesky artifacts, unless you have a reason to bounce yours, and it's super good. Factor Fiction. Ever since its original print, it's always been a strong card. Can't ignore Factor Fiction. Playable anytime it's been been around. All right. Man of War is an old card, back from, I think, Alliances. Some slivers. There's the Ninja of the New Moon. We had the art for that one. All right, moving on. Two of the forces. Uh, we still want to see a Captain Sisse even more than I want to see an Urza, so I'm not going to be sad about an Urza. Perfect World, Foil Sisse. Well, Perfect World, Foil Urza is like $200, but for the sake of keeping it, Foil Sisse because I want it shiny for my deck. All right, we got an illusion here with a mirror on the back, All right? So this is the art for Throws of Chaos. It's very different. Huh. All right. Another one of the Cycle Lands. Still really good. Definitely can dig that. More Cycling Lands. Did I call that Cycling Land? It's like the drawing lands. This is the actual cycling lands. Um, Battle Screech. Very good card. Solid card. Definitely. All right. Diabolic Edict. Um, good card. Um, the new one that's... Um, Liliana's Edict or something like that is technically better just because it has the additional mode that might happen if you control the Liliana, but Diabolic Edict has been around since Tempest? I think Tempest. And it's always been strong. Keep a clear board, gets rid of indestructible, doesn't target. Um, it's a good card. Ooh, pretty foil bear. Check that out. Foil bear. Very awesome. That is a beautiful bear. What? This is the, oh, this is Morph on the Boundless. This is the mythic one. The mythic changeling. All right, and we got Goblin Engineer. What does Goblin Engineer do? When he enters the battlefield, search your life for an artifact, put it in grave, then shuffle. Sacrifice artifact return. Alright, that guy's pretty good. Can we get a better view? There we go. Come on, camera. You can do it. There we go. That is definitely a playable card, without a doubt. Ooh, more Kev Walker art. It's like the reverse of. There's a green card that does pretty much the same thing. I can't think of the name now, though. That's all right. Throat Seeker. Ooh, more Kev Walker art. He's very identifiable to me. The way he shades things, the way he draws things is very recognizable. I think it's very awesome. Um, all right. OK, let's keep on going. We haven't opened any other mythics yet. They do get a foil rare, though. There should be one or two in this. There should be at least two in the box, I believe. Unless we're super unlucky. That'd be sad. All right, here's our goblin with our spider on the back. Spider, goblin. All right, we got this guy. He is the Hogak Arisen Necropolis. Missed the Syndicate Naga. Well, 
Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, create a token that's a copy of it. Hmm, that's fun. All right, so we got another munitions expert, another cycling land, and something that gets bigger if stuff comes into play. All right. Cleaving sliver. Changing outcast. Goat nap. <laughs> Buyback token creation. Um, whenever you can make dudes on a stick, it's playable. And then just uh, one one flying scry two. Solid. Nothing wrong with cards like that. Thing is, playing EDH so much. I don't care if these are standard playable because so many of them can find good homes in EDH decks. Because as we find cards that were maybe lackluster or or just filler, we get better options for them. So here's our soldier token with a scroll on the back. Ooh, whatever this is. This is Wall of One Thousand Cuts. That is awesome. I didn't dig that. All right, Force of Vigor, so we got more of the Force Cycle. Uh, destroy up to two artifacts and or enchantments. We can exile a green card rather than pay its cost. This is the minus one, minus one counters again. Counter target creature spell and a worm. It gets bigger based off our snow permanence. All right. Okay, okay. Keep going, we're about almost halfway through the box. I'll let you know when we get halfway. All right, there's our bird and our construct. Okay, our, little, our art is of the face of divinity. It's fun. Bound accomplice. Hmm. That is an interesting card. It says put a planeswalker card from your hand onto the battlefield, then sacrifice it at the beginning of the end step. I'd be curious on if I want something like that. Um, Alright, so we've got another cycling land. We've got another one of the talismans. And this guy who likes zombies. Okay. All right. Still want to see a sweet, sweet Captain Sisse. That's what I want the most. Very much so. Ooh, foil spire. Ooh, and the face of Umizawa. Look at that guy. He's an awesome dude. Then we've got a foil blade black blade back sil sliver. And the deep forest hermit who makes slivers with vanishing. That's fun. Um so oh. The first instinct would say this goes in Bobo, but in reality it doesn't because we don't want to discard our lands for anything other than shooting people. But he might have a home somewhere. You discard that many cards, he gets that much bigger than you draw that many cards. Uh, another one of the talismans. The mana ramp's always playable, especially ones that can be used the turn it comes into play. You don't want to ignore that ability. Okay, let's see. We got three more before we're halfway through the box. And we've been here in about 30 minutes. So thanks for hanging out tonight or later on YouTube. I know I'm not the most popular person in the world, but I appreciate those who watch my videos. I, I do it just because it's fun and uh, I appreciate people who do it. Maybe somebody finds my loud voice relaxing. Foil Elemental, that's awesome. I like these foil tokens, they are very cool. What is this guy? Wart Eye Witch. 
That's awesome. Okay, what do we got here? <clears throat> Pashalik Mons. When he or another goblin dies, it deals damage to something. Sack a goblin, make two goblins. I'm sure there is a way that that can be broke. Like, really easy. If someone hasn't figured it out already. Um, hmm. All right, we got a soul herder. Whenever a car creature is exiled, it gets bigger. And step, you could put exile another target creature control, then return it so it can flicker things itself. Hide away. Um, hmm, okay, and another cycle land. Super good. Nimble mongoose. Who also drawn by Kev Walker? Man, that guy's had a, had a good set. The set. I'm gonna scry to draw a card, then buy it flashback for five. All right. Excuse me. There are a lot of playable cards here. I, I'm, I'm gonna find homes for so many of these things. A lot of the commons and uncommons too. Like this guy right here. Um, comes into play. I can sack a land if I do search for two basic lands. That is Harrow, but without the threat of it getting countered after you pay the alternate cost. All right, Shapeshifter with our elephants. This land is Arkham's Astrolab. Tectonic Reformation. Each land card in your hand has Cycling Red. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Ice Hide Golem, another ice creature. Wing Shards, that's been there before. Grave Shifter, not to be confused with Grave Digger. Um, all right. Defile, Shenanigans. Shenanigans. Let's see, the quote. I'm gonna pistol with the next person that says shenanigans. Hey Farva, what's that restaurant you like with all the goofy crap on the wall? Shenanigans? Are you guys talking about shenanigans? Hey. That is a quote from Super Troopers. Very funny movie, if you're okay with uh, crude humor. I will not lie, it is not a uh, clean movie. All right, let's do the last pack in the first half of the box. Ooh, ooh, gotta be careful. Now it's bending a little bit. I am not being gentle. There's our zombie. Ooh, a zombie with a, the worship emblem from the planeswalker on the back. All right. What art is this? Oh, the red force. It's awesome. Very crazy art. All right, we got. Ren and six. All right, so this guy, there's our first mythic. Return up to one target land card from your graveyard to your hand. Deals one damage to any target. Instant sorcerers in your cards have retrace. All right, so this guy is probably going to have a home in Bobo because he bounces lands. Ooh, be careful. He bounces lands from my graveyard to my hand. Um, especially useful if um, they have cycling, right? That's essentially just more card draw. Um, first slivers chosen. All slivers you have have exalted. All right. Goblin Aura Flame and Ingenious Infiltrator. So we got. So that's just an enchantment that makes all your attacking creatures a little bit bigger. Um, and then whenever a ninja deals damage to a creature, a player, you draw a card. Come on, camera, I believe in you. Thank you. All right. All right, halfway through. Oh, there's Mother Bear. Do you want to give, give Mother Bear some love? 
All right, halfway through, We've got one mythic open. Luckily, Sisse is a rare, so it doesn't need to be in a mythic slot. It's a very interesting plane block because it only costs two. It's very, very unique. All right. There's our goblin again. Oh, gob oh, he's their token. Got bent a little bit. That's no good. Maybe. I don't know if that was me or just uh, it being bent a little bit. That is lousy. So, because on the goblin on the other side is Merit Lage, the 2020 Flying Indestructible. But, can you see? Yeah, that is sad juju. That's alright. I think I have a foil one. So then we have the art for Waterlogged Grove. It's very pretty. Oh, there's our other another mythic. Mm, that's not a, my favorite mythic. I'm not gonna. I will admit I'm a little sad about that one. The Protect Snake. Hmm. Well, that is what it is. Carrion Feeder, Pillage, Llanowar Tribe. It's a thing. All right. Hex drinker, huh? Kind of not a fan, to be honest, but what can you do? When you buy a box of cards, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. Unless, of course, you bought a, uh, a box of Eternal Masters, and you open your special one-card buy-a-box promo thing, and you get a Bellfire Dragon instead of something like... Oh, I don't know. Demonic Tutor. Oh well. That's okay. There's our zombie again. With a bear on the oh, zombie. With a bear on the back. Alright. This is the soul herder. Astral Drift. All right, so what do we got here? This one is... Whenever you cycle Astral Drift or cycle another card while Astral Drift is on the battlefield, you may exile target creature if you do return that card to the battle owner. So I'm just going to begin the end step. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what I would do with that. All right, so we've got here. Let's. All right. Soldier and a Construct. I believe this is the art for the Force card? Nope, Scour All Possibilities. Alright. And next up is... There's the, another Force card, Force of Rage. If it's not your turn, you may exile a red card in your hand from the... Blah, 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 make two, three, one, trample, haste, guys, and sacrifice at the beginning of your next upkeep. All right. Another one of the uh, the the mana rocks. Another a snow mana rock. I'll be curious if we have enough snow cards to make it worthwhile to play that mana rock. Because it is pretty good. I mean, it cycle. It gives itself a card. It cycles itself.
Ooh, foil zombie. Oh, that is, that is gorgeous. Ever dream, that is, that is beautiful art, it really is. Ooh, foil diabolic edict. And scrapyard recombiner. Modular two, sacrifice an artifact, search your library for a construct card, put it into your hand. I don't know about that one. Another cycling land, those are very good, as we previously mentioned. Double strike. Gets cheaper for every different creature type you have. So, with this, so it says spell, this spell costs one less to cast for each creature type among creatures you control. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana by more than five. So essentially if you have one changing on the board, it only costs two white mana because it's everything. It'll be all types, right? All right, all right. Oh, shaking, shaking the camera. Settle down, camera. I tried to get it attached to something that wasn't on the desk, but I did not find anything to get it high enough where it wasn't sitting in front of my face. So here we are. Elemental, along with spider. Okay. Ooh, check this guy out. This is a ingenious infiltrator. He's very ingenious. She, he, he, I don't know. They are very, they are very ingenious. Hmm. That's a fun one, on thin ice. Exile target creature, until this leaves the battlefield, it costs one, but you gotta put it on a snow land. It could be fine. All right. Hmm. All right, all right. We're still hoping for one of our our future commanders. That's what we really want. An illusion to go with a golem. That is the uh, Meriden Besieged. Very cool. I don't mind opening up the first sliver either. Okay, we've got another one of the uh, draw card lands, which is fine. Thundering Jin. Oh, that's a fun one. I've never missed that one in the spoilers. Whenever he attacks, it deals damage to any target equal number of cards you've drawn. That's cool. Huh. All right, we still got 12 packs to go. Ooh, foil soldier. Oh yeah, the swords. That is the sword of sinew and steel. Oh, there's another mythic. Echo of Eons. Oh yeah. The new time twister. Shuffles her hand, draws seven cards, but flashback only costs three. Yeah, that is a thing. Uh, Everdream, all right, that's good. Draw a card, makes tokens guy again. We got three mythics, but like I said, we don't even care if we get, well, we care. Getting more mythics would be cool. We got three so far. One, well, I guess two I'm actually pretty excited about. The other one was kind of meh. But we're still hoping for a captain. Show me Captain Sisse. She needs a new home in my Super Friends deck. That's where she belongs. Do 
So here's our goblin with squirrel. Who is this? Well, I guess that answers that question. He's a headless specter, which, you know, makes sense. Aria of Flame. So let's see. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent gains 10 life. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a verse counter on Area of Flame. Then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player or planeswalker. Huh. Hmm. Oh, so this one's interesting. So, the thought is, is was if I was to switch all the basic lands from Borborygmos to Snowlands, would this card be worth playing? I'm not sure. Probably not. Definitely has homes in some tribal deck somewhere. Hmm. Definitely things to think of. See so now this one, like could this go in my Bulbarigmos deck? It only has a few creatures. Huh. It's nice to see things I might actually have to consider for my deck. It hasn't had anything new for uh, quite a while, actually. Oh, excuse me. It is 1140. There's our shapeshifter who is hanging out with our elephant. And who is this? This is Mind Rake. That is cool art. Oh, Marriott Lage's Slumber, Legendary Snow Enchantment. So let's see if we can get it better. Merit Lage is slumber or another snow enters the battlefield scry one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more snow permanents, sacrifice this. If you do, create Merit Lage, a legendary 2020 indestructible avatar. That's flying. I mean Hmm. Just see I wonder if you have enough snow permanents to make it worth it. Two of the uh talismans, that's good. I'm sure there's a lot of decks I have that are going to want them, so the more to go around, the better. So I'm not sad about that. Alright. Still hoping for Urza or uh, Yogmoth or Captain Sisse. Or the Sliver. Or the Sliver. I actually haven't looked to see what things are pre selling for the most. Not that I sell many of my cards anymore. Here's our bird with a bear. And we've got, so there's our, there's our Urza full art. Very cool. Urza Lord High Artificer. Where was he during the War of the Spark? What a big slacker, right? Oh, check that out. It is it one of a foil land. That's cool. Second foil rare in the box. Oh, and there is our Cloud Shredder Sliver. All slivers you control a Flying in Haste. Super strong for slivers. Another Wall of Blossoms. The Good Fortune Unicorn. Hmm. Wow, whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. That is not nothing. Free counters, right? Getting down there, guys, gals, everybody in between. 
So the couple things we want, I don't want to have to buy them separately, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So here's our elemental, hanging out with our mirror. Oh, and we've got the, uh, here is our Ren and Six. It's very cool. Oh, there we go, everybody. It's not foil, but we got what we wanted. There's our Sisei, Weatherlight Captain. This is just so good for my deck. It is absurd. <sighs> yeah. That is the one card I know, without a doubt, I have a home for. Well, now I'm happy with the rest of the box. Everything else is wonderful. Obviously, there was better ways to get a Captain Sisei than spending $200 on a booster box. But I do want all these other cards, too. That's just the one I wanted very specifically. Because I think it's important to point out, if you, if you do play Magic and you're not just hanging out with me, this card, it doesn't put it into your hand. It puts it on the battlefield. It's plus one, plus one for every color, so it gets bigger. Search your library for a legendary permanent with mana cost less than its power and put it onto the battlefield. So that searches for my planeswalkers and puts them into play, not in my hand, into play. And I think that is wonderful. All right, let's see what the rest of this gravy is, huh? So, I have a fun story to tell while I'm opening these packs, and I'll try to tell it while I'm doing it. Zombie and Spider. Oh, I'm sorry, Zombie Spider. We recently hired a guy at work. And, um, you know, as we do, after we get through the actual interview process, you know, so we can start, you know, he's actually at work, and we ask him about things he likes to do. And, you know, if he likes to play games, he's like, yeah, I, I play WoW, but I'm kind of unsubscribed at the moment. And I'm like, all right, that's cool. What server did you play on? And he's like... I played on Illidan. I'm like, I played on Illidan. And um, I'm like, yeah, server's so big, so many people. Oh, hey, check it out. We got the Bear Queen. I love it. And so that, that was the end of the conversation. And next week or so, it's the second week here, we're doing some work. And we're waiting for some code to run, and I pull up my character on the um, armory, and I turn around, and I'm like, yeah, this is my character. He's like, Jotar. Have you always been named Jotar? I'm like, yeah. I made that guy. He's my second character. My first character was the Warrior Vanilla, but I have, I've been Jotar since the very, very, very beginning of Burning Crusade. It's like, and then he says, do you know so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. I went to high school with him. And he's like, Trotara? I'm like, yeah. He's like, you're the reason I played on Illidan. When so-and-so wanted to start playing WoW, he says, I have a friend who plays, and he's going to give us some gold if we just want to roll in the server with him to help us get started. And that was you. You gave me like a thousand gold. I read your Hunter blog for like four years. You're the reason I play a Hunter. And he goes, I remember being in... Gruel's lair with you at the end of Burning Crusade. And I remember you talking in the raid saying that it was the end of the expansion, but you never got a Dragonspine trophy when it dropped. You offered some guy 3,000 gold for it. And the guy goes, 5,000 gold. And you just said, yeah, I'll give it to you. And he traded you the Dragonspine trophy for five grand. And I thought, this guy knows what's up. You can get anything you want if you have gold. And... He's like, everything I did on WoW was because of what you did. You and inadvertently picked my server. You taught me how to play. I read your stories. I was in raids with you. And he told me the name of his character. I actually remembered it. It was really funny. Um, just that our mutual friend uh, he met at work was a guy that I went to high school with. And uh, it just, it's been the ongoing joke at my job that anyone we hire or even the people who were there before me I'm somehow connected to them, like without fail. Like one of my, one of our co-work, my co-workers, his best friend in high school married my best, one of my best friends right now. 
And he's like, wait, so you know so-and-so? I'm like, yeah, I see them all the time. It's like, she was my best friend for most of my life. So it's just funny. It's a, it's a small world after all. Rhino spirit. All right. Ooh, is this the first sliver? No, Dregscape slipper. Sliver, sliver. That's cool. And then we've got, oh, a spiteful sliver. Um, whenever this creature's dealt damage, it deals that much damage back. All right, that's pretty good. Another cycling land, our face of divinity. Hmm, all right. Hmm. I like that art, that's really good. Spore frog, that guy's a reprint. Good old spore frog. All right, we've got five packs left. We got our Captain Sisse. Sisse, what I like, Captain. Captain Sisse, somebody else. Um, all right. I know it's being greedy, but I wouldn't hate an Urza. So there's our there's a goblin with another construct. Ooh, there's, that's cool art for Watcher for Tomorrow. I love it. No, oh, that's our second Miss Syndicate Naga. That's unfortunate. Ooh, Urza's Rage. Kicking Urza's Rage for 10 damage that can't be prevented, can't be countered. It's, it's good stuff. All right, there's some more slivers. All right, four more guys and gals and friends and people. Shapeshifter emblem, oh. So that's the emblem for Rex and Six, or Ren and Six, I believe. So that's a good one to, good one to remember I have. Oh, that's, what is that? That is Goblin Matron. Cordial Vampire. <laughs> Please come in, hors d'oeuvres are on the table. <laughs> Scuttling Sliver, ooh. Sliver creatures you control have to untap this creature. Interesting. Here's another one by Kev Walker, just because we can recognize the art. Three more, let's see what we get. Ooh, foil shapeshifter. Ooh, throat seeker. This is the uh, vampire ninja. Foil scale up. That's a cool foil. Oh, and there's a. I believe the internet's calling her stepmom. Not the mother of runes, but the giver of runes. Another target creature you control gains protection from colorless or from the color of your choice at end of turn. That's a 1 2 for 1. That is solid, and mother of runes is no joke. That is a good card. I forgot that that one was in here. So I'm not sad to see the giver of runes. All right, oh, I'm shaking that camera again. All right, we're just a little over an hour. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. There's our elemental token with a angel on the back. Here is, ooh, the lesser manticore. That is cool art. Oh, there's another mythic. Not Urza, but Interesting. Huh. 
Interesting. So it says he's a changeling, so it's everything. When he comes into play, choose a creature type. Spells of the chosen type cost you one of each color less to cast. This effect reduces only the amount of colored mana you pay, and all those creatures get a plus one, plus one effect. Well, here's a snow land, and we got a couple slivers. Uh, so this produces colorless mana, or it turns into a 2 3 construct. Um, and it locks creatures down. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, last pack, everybody. This will wrap us up. I think we ended up with four or five mythics. No Urza, though, which is too bad. Unless it's in this box, this pack, which I doubt. There's a soldier with an elephant on the back. Here's another one of the swords of truth and justice. And one more card draw land for good measure. All right, so all in all, I think the box was fine. Um, the big money card of the set is definitely Urza, but that's okay. So if we look at what we got here, so there's, let's find all our lands. I think we had a good diversity of them, which is nice. That one is not that type of land, but it's not nothing. And then we had our new, f our other fetch land, which is all right. So there's our lands. We did end up, where's our mythics? We ended up with Morophon. We ended up with. Echo of Eons, which I don't think is a bad card at all. We end up with Hex Drinker, it's a little sad, and Renin 6. And I think those are all our mythics, if I remember right. Now, on top of that, we end up with a Foil Dead of Winter over here, and then let's find our. Hey, Philip, how you doing, man? You just you're catching the tail end. Um, we're, I'm doing really good. Um. I just finished opening a box of Magic the Gathering Modern Horizons and just wrapping up all the things that I opened tonight. Um, how are things going for you? Glad you could stop in before I killed the stream. So there's our red force. There's our green force. Blue force and the black force. So we didn't get the white one, but that's okay. So that's good, especially this guy right here. That is great to hear. I am glad. Yeah, I've been streaming for. School does that. School will get to you, but you gotta keep on keeping on. School is not forever, that is for sure. Um, Sissé's going in a deck. Mother of Runes will be going in a deck because it's super good. I'm sure some of these will all be going in decks. I'd probably find a home for this. Um, yeah, I think there's a lot of things we can do with these cards. Hmm, all right. So all in all, not the best box ever, but it was definitely not terrible. I'm curious to see if I got the full cycle of these full art cards, though. Um, there's 54 of them, and we, well, we can't have 54 of them because there's only 36 packs. But I'll be curious, I don't know if I got duplicates or not. I'll be curious to see what we got in terms of full art cards. Um, all right. Well, I think that is going to wrap it up for the evening. Philip, I'm glad you were able to stop by for a little bit before uh, I ended because, uh, yeah, we just finished opening 36 boosters of magic. 
was fun. It was a fun box. It's the new set that came out. And uh, I'm going to get ready to crash myself for the evening. I will try to stream again soon. I've been playing a lot of Magic Online um, through Magic Arena, which is really fun. And I can stream that like I did Hearthstone. Um, because I play that for a little bit every night to do the daily quests, and it's very enjoyable. Um, so once again, uh, thanks for those who were here throughout the last hour. Philip, thanks for stopping by at the end, and uh, thanks again for people who, you know, keep subscribed to me, see my videos come up, or watch them later on YouTube. I appreciate it. Um, like I said, I just do this for fun. Um, but with that being said, you guys have a great night. Philip, have a wonderful evening as well, and we will see you guys all next time.